that gasket up there straight up shredded. Snowing, raining, shining, hell. Is this normal weather here? Yeah, uh, really? Yeah. I have a, I have a surprise. What is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys, in today's video, I fixed what broke on the GT350 while we were out racing in Vegas. Then it immediately got held on moments later. In the end of the video, I showed the 720S to a very special guest that used to be an everyday face on the channel, so you gotta stick around until then, where we also reveal a new subscriber car build. And just a reminder, 17 times entries to win both giveaways ends very soon, so go to itsjustasix.com, grab any of our new products, and you might be taking home the title and key to either this SRT10 Viper truck or this Ducati Hyper Motard 1100. With that being said, let's get into today's video. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. A little bit of a non-traditional intro. We are in a hotel parking lot. Inside of the trailer is my twin turbo GT350 that makes 1500 horsepower. And unfortunately, while we were over in Vegas on our huge cross country trip that we've been taking, we were racing some people and the car kind of had an issue. <laughs> Cue the clip. <laughs> The first Whoa. thing I saw, you see where the gasket's blown out? So now that we've got these parts from Hellhorse in hand, let's go ahead and start fixing this thing inside of the trailer. Over here, we really did it smart. Oh, over here, over, over here, we really did it smart. Ready? Light, baby. But way under here, you can find the problem that we're having. See this? See that bolt? That one's loose, that one's missing, that one's missing. And if you notice, check this out, dude. You can see right there, the gasket is blown in half out of the side. Bro. Yeah, I think the gasket blew out first and then it yes. just rattled everything else, yep. but. The GT350 makes some pretty epic, gnarly flames, I learned. And basically what's going on is whenever you see these flames out of the back of the car, you have to remember that it is going through 10 feet of exhaust to get there. So imagine how much flame is pre-turbo out of the cylinders. That's definitely why our gasket failed. It got way too hot at some point. And it was probably for me doing rolling and lag back to back to back to back. It pulls ignition timing, throws a bunch of fuel and increases exhaust temps like crazy every time you do it. We were just doing back to back hits with it. So to me, it's not even surprising that that failed. It just needs maintenance. So now let's get started pulling that thing apart in the trailer and then get it fixed. This is gonna be a little easy except for one. Work at that. Easy. I really just can't even believe that though. The only thing I have for you right now is this. Oh, for real? There's no swivel? Not in Not here. The kit, no. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, gonna have, we're probably gonna have to grab some tools. My favorite part about this is this. Remember whenever this thing sounded like a Honda? That would be why. It was like an open header four cylinder. That's why it sounded like that. Mm -hmm. Cause it's yeah, technically four, four cylinders, cylinders open, open headers. headers. <laughs> All right, so step one to getting into here, we just need to take this clamp loose right here and then we should be able to get this whole entire pipe swung out of the way, which is gonna let us get to those other bolts over there. There we go. Now we got the dump pipe removed out of the way. Get this clamp out of the way as well. And there you go. You got room now to get to that top bolt. <laughs> Bro. It is literally just hand tight in there. Hand tight. Look at that. There's one already removed. Okay. Let's see if the last one's that easy. Yeah, I figured so. That's usually how it goes. The last one's really tight on there. So probably gonna have to wait just a second. Paul's running to grab a bigger extension for this thing and also a swivel so that way we can get into that spot pretty easy. Hey, let's go. That was the quickest parts run ever, bro. bro thank you, right thank you. Road, yeah. yeah, we got the whole set. Oh, and we got the red Loctite. That is gonna guarantee this shit doesn't happen again. Yo, it literally says to protect against the, uh, big bolts and vibrations. Really, that's perfect. That's, that's what we good. have. We have big bolts and yeah. vibrations. All right, I got every bolt out except for one. They literally were hand tight. I turned them by hand and got them out. So now Sweet. I'm gonna get this last one out. Now that we've got a swivel and some Loctite, we're gonna get everything reinstalled. We should be good to go. Speaking of, can I have that new hardware? I think it's absolutely insane, dude. Let me show you this to preface. This is a thick, non-pliable, like you can't really bend this metal gasket, right? Let me show you the type of heat this thing generates, okay? That gasket up there is just straight up shredded, dude. Let me get this last bolt off and then we should be able to find out what's going on. Oh, let's go, last bolt out, dude. All right, let me get this piece of gasket out of here. Bro. Oh man. How does that even, here, somebody tell me. 
How does that even happen? That's not supposed to be like that, I'm assuming. What's no. the other one look like? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Where's the other parts of it? <laughs> Hang on, let me pull the turbo down some more. Oh, all right, so here we go. And honestly, everything looks good in there. No mark and no shaft play at all. It looks great. So what I would assume Sick. happened is that it probably blew the gasket out and then the bolts just ever so slightly backed out over time. Yep, that's exactly what happened. It went from like no noise and we were gapping fools to all of a sudden noise and we're not gapping fools. Yeah. And then I'm like, what's going down? And gulp, okay. We were talking about wondering if it got hot. Let's let's look. All right, guys. Uh, upon further inspection, let's look at our fucking starter. Holy shit, dude! I mean, the whole starter casing looks like it was in a house fire. You could have almost like lit the car up on fire, like caught that hoe on fire. You know why it was, bro? There was probably flames from the two-step and the rolling anti-lag. Just going straight onto the starter because that's where the gap is. Oh, yeah. And it just melted the rubber. Needless to say, the turbos get hot on this car. I'm going to try my best to show you, but I got to hold one hand on the camera and one hand on the gasket to show. But check it out. We'll slip this essentially up in between here, right here. Get this new gasket put in and then get our new bolts slid in to hold it all together. We got four brand new bolts just because we ain't taking no chances. And we got to get that red Loctezy on there, you know what I'm saying? Loctezy, baby. All my cars are nasty, bloody guts. They be like, uh, uh. I step on the gas, I'm piling ass. I be like, uh, uh. We got one bolt in here just to keep the gasket held up. I'm gonna rotate this thing around, lock tight the rest of the bolts as they go in, and then take this one back out and lock tight that one as well. Getting that red lock teasy on there. Making sure she don't back out again. Get that shoulder workout in. Did you say workout? Oh God. <laughs> got everything ready to be put back up in place, but there's just one bolt that's really hard to get to. And if I had the half inch wrench just cut in half in two pieces, I could probably take the half and get in there and pull that turbo bolt out enough for clearance to get that one tight, but don't have that. What was that noise? Which half do you want? The jack handle. No. The jack handle? Yeah. In hey, my foot. Okay. Which half do you want? Um, Major W. I'm well, that say. works. So as you guys can see down here at the bottom, right? We've got this little attachment here. Issue is though, it doesn't easily want to go in there because this bolt head here is in the way. So now I gotta get that bolt out of the way that way to get that bolt tight. And that's why I was really hoping that I could get something like this because you can see now I can get this wrench in there and actually take this thing loose because it's cut in half so it clears the bell housing and everything up here, like literally perfectly. So yeah, a few minutes and specialty tools crafted later, we had new bolts securing a new gasket to the turbo and the car was ready to rock and roll. So we set up some races in Oklahoma City for the next day and we headed out and then something unexpected happened. Gosh, what is going on guys? It is windy as ever here in Oklahoma City. Today we got the GT350 and the 720S unloaded. We got some really nice guys who drove a few hours this morning to come get these cleaned up for us because we have a little bit of racing plan before we leave out of town today. From our last adventures over the last few cities though, these cars have gotten filthy. And so before we take them out and go show everybody, we gotta get them cleaned up. They are here today to watch the 720, the GT350, the SRT10 Ram truck and also our F350 Dually. I feel extremely bad for these guys. It is like so windy today. In reality, it is like 38, 40 degrees, something like that. Borderline unbearable, but these guys are still out here getting this done, man. Damn. Oh my shit, bro. This thing's gonna look brand new. Trying our best, bro. I appreciate our best. That. that is some amazing service, dude. I literally messaged them under 12 hours ago. They're here now cleaning four vehicles for us inside, outside in the parking lot of a hotel. They are so small right now. A thousand followers. Rusty's detailing, man. Come on, go check these guys out. But I just want to make a point out of what these guys are doing right here. We gave them an opportunity to show their business off, to grow, to promote them. They took that opportunity immediately and no matter what they had planned today, they were literally here doing it. And now I already know that they're gonna get a lot of good promotion from this. Seize every opportunity when there's the opportunity, even if there's stuff in your way. If that's the opportunity you want in your life, hit that shit right there, right now. I'm positive everyone is gonna be okay if you wait. That's <laughs> the actual factual though. Dude, we were just looking outside at the clouds. Look what just popped up. Come on. We just checked the fucking weather. 
I think it's about to start pouring raining in like 30 minutes or less. I didn't know that that was even a thing. Like no one knew that until they didn't know that. I didn't know that. Nobody racing knew that. Y'all didn't know that. So I think that that just like actually popped up because we checked the weather last night before we went to sleep. It was clear. Nice. It's hailing. Yes. Bro, what in the? What is going on? <laughs> what is this? What is this I weather? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it out here. This is a testament to Justin at Atlanta Custom Wraps, Satin PPF. Their Stealth PPF that we just got installed. I'm literally gonna leave this car out here in the hail to show you guys that it is really okay. Like, truly. Bro, y'all are really out here in the hail? Yeah, man. What is going day. on, dude? Going, raining, shining, hail. Is this normal weather here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. It's bipolar, it goes, man. Yeah, it's bipolar. Thank y'all so much, man. Rain, snow, shine, sleep, yeah. hail, all of it, bro. I appreciate y'all. Did you happen to notice it hailing? Yeah, and I noticed that you didn't put the cars up. Nope. We're showing off Atlanta Custom Wraps new PPF. This trip has been one of a kind, like really. We have, we have seen the wildest events take place, the craziest weather events. It rained in Vegas. It snowed on us in Denver, and it hailed in Oklahoma City. For real. And we put it back on. Right there. Right there. The right there. We bought a Ram truck, a Viper SRT10. In the we did do that. <laughs> Back. This trip has been literally one for the books. It's just unforgettable. I can't wait to make an afterthoughts video telling you guys about everything we learned really and everything that we're gonna do different next time. Now buying a whips and I'm taking the trips that I never could have now. No more jealousy around me behind my back when they would clown me Be sacking the money and still they would doubt me. I kept on paying till I found they would drown me like Yeah. It's coming down out here. Yeah, no, it's getting bigger. It's crazy. This is getting ridiculous, actually. Out of hand. I'm trying to get it in hand, but it's out of hand. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Oh, it's, hurting me, though. <laughs> it's hurting. It's actually starting to hurt. <laughs> ah, ow! Bro, it's just like little paintballs. Thank you so yes, much, sir. man. Yes, nice to meet you, bro. 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 Nice to meet you. Thank you, seriously. Yeah. It's been, it's very cool. Hey, you ever down hey. here, man? I'll come bust the trick gun again. Hey, make, sure, make sure, sure to go. check us out. Make sure to go check out Rusty Detailing on Instagram. Please let do that. And let me know for interiors, exteriors, whatever you need. Where are you based out of again? Straight to Arkansas. That's right. Straight out of Arkansas. There you go. You know, go pigs. Or go Well, Oklahoma City, we were definitely out here trying our our absolute best to get some runs in with you guys but as you can see definitely got a little bit more wet and rainy out here than we were even partially expecting we even had some hail so sadly we will have to come back we're gonna head out to Dallas we got to get home we've been gone now for about two and a half weeks <laughs> Both cars are strapped down. That was a little bit tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Only because everything is wet, covered in ice. This looks like a sonic slushy. There is slushy falling from the sky. Well, yeah, there's slushy on the ground too, so that's gonna be fun to drive. Oh, yeah. You see this on the trailer? It's all ice. It's just that's a little insane, ice clumps. Dude. All right, we're gonna have to be uber, uber careful. So no 85 on the freeway. I only go to speed. 55. You live locally? Y'all just passing through? Four hours away. What? Where are you? What you? Hey, Ethan. Hello, buddy. Yo. No way, dude. What's up, bro? No way. <laughs> dude, I have Don't Lose Sight engraved on my high school graduation necklace. Oh, oh, are you serious, bro? That is so cool. Why, bro? Thank <laughs> y'all for stopping by. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you for your time, yeah, man. Of Appreciate course, it. Of course, man. Y'all have a good afternoon. Y'all be safe. Well, you ready to go drive? <laughs> Three hours in the snow, hail, sleep, ice. All right, let's go. Good thing that you guys just got done because in the next 30 minutes, it's about to get like really heavy. I don't know if that means like bigger hail. That's not good. Many unbearable hours later. Oh, we are finally in Dallas, dude. Oh my gosh. Dallas. Dallas, baby. Dallas. Dallas, man. Made it to Dallas. This has been one crazy road trip, but finally we have arrived. We've got the trailer set up for unloading everything in the morning time, but tonight I have a, I have a surprise. What is? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> What's up, fellas? Oh, hey, guys. What's up, my boy? Look at this shit, dude. I heard oh, I'm sorry, I got an exhaust leak. I don't oh my god! I was wrong with it. <laughs> Rob, pulled up. Rob pulled up on the scene. Yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to see that thing forever, dude. That is crazy. Dude, this is the first time I've seen Rob with an LS. This is the first time I've seen Rob in probably almost three years now. So this is kind of wild. Wait a minute, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Ooh. So sweet to see Dude, you, bro. the beard. Out of I mean, control. The lack of the beard. Out of yeah, control. Yeah, we traded. Bro. We traded. You know what Damn. I'm saying? Bro, bro, come here. Bro. How you been, brother? Oh, dude, I'm so blessed. It's dude. unreal. Dude, come here, Tanner. What's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> we have actually both. We, he just said that, too. But I've been wanting to see this thing for a solid minute, man. I mean, it's... That's so cool. It's high. It's, oh, it's clean. clean. Nothing Under crazy. Oh, yeah, Nothing dude. Nothing crazy. That is so sick. This was uh, an old gentleman that owned this. The only reason he got rid of it, one owner car. And when I bought it, it had 60,000 miles. No shit, the damn. The reason he got rid of it is because he got a brain tumor. But he kept oh, this car, yeah. Sad. yeah. Went to a good home, you know, so. Hell yeah, dude, that is cool. What's I'm happy that, that you ended up with it. The big suck, the k <laughs> plus 45 horsepower, right? Oh yeah. It's Let's got go. trick flow heads and a comp stage two cam. Oh, but what's yeah. going on with, with, with all that? Right, ain't that crazy? So this is a guy named Jose. He is from Albuquerque and we went and picked his car up. It got hit by a drunk driver. We're gonna rebuild it for him. That's awesome though, that y'all are doing that for this guy. Yeah, he's a he's been a really big fan for a while. His brother won one of the giveaway cars and he like was so jealous. So I was like, we'll hook you up one day. So one day came around. Remember that thing? Look up in no. front. Oh! Okay, um, <laughs> this man literally is DJ Khaled. Another one, bro. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Dog. Okay, so what's Third the Third time's the charm. What's the nomenclature with that one? Which one is that? That's the 720S. Yeah. So anyway, though, long story short, that's why we're in town.